Alright, hello everyone. This is going to be an updated guide of how to uh, flash your Blu-ray drives to be able to read 4K discs. Uh, it's not required yet, but soon, with all the new encrypted firmwares coming out, this way is uh, going to be needed. So, I'll have a list of all the firmwares down below of the ones that ha are encrypted, but for now, the current encrypted ones are WH-16 NS-60 1.03, uh, the WH and BH WH-16 NS-40 1.05 and higher, and also BU-40N 1.4 and higher. So, before we start, because I'm tired of seeing everyone break their drive, you're going to have to go here, you're going to have to have MakeMKV installed. Open it up, and before you do anything, you're going to go here and look at your drive info. I updated my drive to 1.03 just for this video, so you're going to see here. We have 1.03, so that won't work like here. It says it's possible to be able to do all the stuff, so you need the firmware. But before you do anything, you're going to go here to your drive platform. You're going to make sure it's MT1959 for this guide. Don't flash your drive if it's anything but MT1959. Okay, that's the first big important step there. If you do, it's ruined, all right? Uh, for now, I would say stick with your current model, uh, so probably no cross-flashing really, except LG to LG, no Asus to LG, and no Slims to desktop drives, and no s desktop drives to Slims. So alright, I'm doing this all live here. I'll give up on this part here, and we're going to go over to flashing. So, by default, the flasher is going to be in the default make MQV installation folder, which is going to be here if you're on a 64-bit system. If it's not, you just go to wherever place it is on your system. So, what you're going to do is just go here, open your PowerShell or command prompt as admin if you're not on Windows 7, or 10, sorry. And you're going to open that up, and uh, just go C. So we want to get to the main C do that a few times. And we're going to copy this. I'll have this all in the description so you can do it too. You'll, but if it's not your default location, you'll be able to do that. But uh, do that. And we're going to paste that. So we're now in that location. And this is where the Make MKV, Make MKV's built-in flasher is. So you're going to need to use Make MKV's built-in flasher for all the new encrypted firmware. It's a little bit harder because it's a command line base for now, but a GUI is coming, and he soon plans to release this standalone, so you won't need to install Make MKV, but I still recommend it so you can check your drive information. And now next is the command. This part you all need. And then this part right here where the D is, that needs to be your drive letter. So my currently is D. So whatever your drive letter is, put that in there. And you choose raw flash. And then if you have an encrypted firmware, you need to put this ENC. And that will make it automatically encrypt whatever firmware image, which in this case is going to be 1.02 MK for the NS16. It will automatically encrypt it so it can be flashed to an encrypted drive. Don't use the ENC option if your firmware isn't encrypted. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, copy and paste this in. I'll, again, I'll have this down in the description. And uh, once we got that, we're going to hit enter. And, of course, uh, PowerShell is dumb, so we're going to need to do that thing that PowerShell makes us do. I think it's like period forward slash or something, or backslash. Yeah, there we go. So, not right now, it's flashing the drive. Just make sure not to have it get interrupted while this is happening. Might hear your drive make some clicks while this is going on, but there you go, that's done. So what we're going to do now is we go into Make MKV. I'm going to go in. And there you go, you got an enabled, microcode access re-enabled, you're on 1.02 compared to 1.03, you no longer have the encrypted firmware, and you can flash any other firmware you want from here with the old flashers or this new way, because you see it's really not that hard. And uh, that's pretty much it.